what's going on Samurais, welcome to today's video. I am Sam, Sam I am, and today I have been getting a ton of questions from you guys about how do you install OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, on a Macintosh computer. And that's what I want to talk about today. But first, if you're brand new around here, make sure you go down and click that big, beautiful red subscribe button. We would love to have you as part of the familia. Also, make sure to follow me on all my social media, at Sam Angelo, so you guys don't miss out out when I upload brand new videos or live streams or do anything cool and exciting because I want you there. So make sure to go follow us. All right, guys, let's hop over to the computer screen so I can show you how to set up OBS on your Mac. All right, boom, and we are there. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to your web browser and type in OBS project. So if you guys don't know what OBS is, it is a uh, video switching software so you for live streaming so you can have multiple sources and switch and make your live streams look super professional um, so once you're there you're gonna come down here and click where it says Mac OS click on it download it let that download it should be fairly fast to download if we can see up here the little taskbar is moving uh, fairly quickly once that's downloaded, we are going to go to our download folder and open up the file. So it is done. Awesome. So we can quit Safari. Boom. Quitting Safari. And we can go to our download folder and open up our software. And it's like any other software installation. So you would click continue. You would click continue. You would type in your password if we we're going to install it and you would be done. So it's pretty simple, quick, self-explanatory there. Once it's installed, of course you go to your applications and click on OBS. Boom, and there it is. It is now installed and you guys can start making super awesome live streams. And if you are using OBS and you're doing something cool and you're streaming, make sure to share them in the comment section after this video after this stream becomes a video i gotta get used to saying streaming because i'm not used to same stream. i'm always just saying video um also while we're doing this guys i'll go through obs a little bit how it works right now if you have any questions make sure to ask them in the comment section and i will do my best to answer them during this stream um now like i said you can it's streaming software but as you see over here you also can record so all my videos that i make that are um recorded videos that aren't streams are also made inside of obs now remind you i have a ton of like professional high-end grade video switchers here but i still prefer using obs for streaming and productions and stuff in our studios it's just such a simple and great software package um that's why I use it a ton so let me explain how this works so there are scenes and there are sources so Every scene can contain multiple sources. So if we look in this one, this one has a color source, a video capture source, and a display capture source. So that means all these different uh, sources are up on the screen at the same time underneath one scene. So a scene contains multiple sources. So I have multiple scenes with multiple sources just like when you're doing video. So instead of having like um, macros that contain multiple things, you're going to have scenes that contain multiple things. Um, next little box over here, and there's a ton of, before I do that, there are a ton of different scenes. So if you click on this little plus icon, you can see there's audio inputs, not scenes, different sources, sorry. Uh, there's different audio inputs, uh, browser, I have some black magic stuff plugged in, all kind of cool stuff you guys can do with this software. Next is the audio mixer. So you can mix all your audio. So I have a microphone, I have music, I have audio coming from a piece of software. This is where I'm going to mix everything. Then over here is the transition. So I can choose between a cut and a fade and how long it takes to do that. Uh, then, of course, here we would start our stream, start our recording. We could do both simultaneously if we want to uh, keep a higher co quality copy of the stream we're making. Uh, studio mode is what you see here. This is uh, not studio mode, so it's just one scene. Uh, shows you one scene. This gives you a preview, and then this is your live view. So if I click over here, this is what uh, I'm previewing, so I can make sure everything's set up right. Then I would click take. 
and you would see it uh, transition over to the live feed. Uh, so I always use studio mode. I'm rarely in the other mode ever. Next is settings. It's basically all of your settings. So this is where you can go in and change anything you need, your output, your streaming setting, your audio, video, all that kind of cool stuff. Very simple, very self-explanatory. Of course, I will make a video going into those settings in much more detail, but for right now, uh, just want to give you a basic breakdown of how the software works. Uh, one thing I really like is this multi-view feature. It's very uh, video switcher feeling. So if I open it up, you're going to see it's going to give me a panel that looks just like a traditional video switcher, like I'm sitting in a truck. So I can pull up my preview, and then I can click take, and it goes, and then I can pull up my next preview. I could click take and go, take and go. So if I was doing something that is, you know, multi-cameras and I'm working just as the director, this is how I like to run OBS. Um, so if you guys have any questions, again, feel free to ask them. I'm going to close out of this window real fast. Boop. Can I get back? Hello. There we go. And we're back. Um, and again, just to show you, you know, if I didn't have this color source here and I turned that off, this is what you'd be seeing. You'd be seeing my video desktop and OBS running on it. So, and if I had a camera, you would see my face appearing, but I don't have a camera hooked up to my, uh, to this computer right now. So that's just to give you a quick example of how OBS works and all of the cool stuff you guys can do with it. I will put a link to uh, the OBSproject.com uh, in the description of this video. That way, if you guys want to go download it and try it out, let me know what you think. Uh, that would be awesome. And until next time, guys, remember to dream big, think bigger, and always be you. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.